There's not a person on my team in 16 years that has consistently <laughs> yeah, there we to go. the ball this is every Ethan. play. They're doing straight sprints. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. That's just got everything to do with effort. Nothing else. 15 straight years. 12 Pro Bowls later. If you want numbers. I done saw all of it. And the only thing that's kept me around is my effort. So when you put on this, this is push. all I ever knew, because I wasn't a number one recruit, I wasn't a number one linebacker, I wasn't even an immediate guy. All I ever knew was effort will get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom and my kids. Effort. Which is between you and you. Nobody else can't give you effort. Effort is with the side. And I'm still grinding because the next kid is talking about him. He's getting too old. Keep watching me. Now move the ball like that, Paolo. Nobody ain't got this to convince me of what I do. I do what I do because I do what I do. Because I'm built from something. And man didn't create it. Every one of you men in here have that opportunity, man. But ask yourself the question personally. How much time you really waste? For real. Or do you really represent this? I represent uh, it because go, it's all I have. It's only brotherhood I've ever been formed to. That's why when I see y'all perform on Saturdays, that is my piece. That's why I run to the hotels. I don't need to talk to nobody before my games. I just need to see what I once came from. I sat in the same chairs you guys sat in, man. I sat around the greatest athletes in the world. And then I found myself totally different because everybody was asking the question, who is this kid? All the way through, all the way through. Again. That's not all the way through, Push. Another thing added to the chalkboard. Oh, no, just like that. Just like that. I'm not asking nobody in here for nothing today. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just sharing my story to tell y'all. Every time you think somebody got it good, man, it ain't always good. Somebody just, some, some people just make up their mind and they just grind and say the heck with it, man. Because sometimes that's all you can do. How much of our brains are we really going to use? I use mine to tell somebody today, September 11th, when I step on the field against the Pittsburgh Steelers, if that's what God will is, there's no other man out there willing to give up what I'm willing to give up. I said that in 1993, when I said I wanted to be the greatest hurricane, and the only thing that I got in the middle of all of that distance is the only thing that follows work is results. There's no other blueprint. I ain't got no other secrets to tell y'all today. I ain't come here for nothing else but to tell you if you want to do something, work at it. You want a better relationship with God, work at it. You want to understand why pulling your pants up is important, why yes ma'am and no ma'am is important, why being in the meeting with complete silence when somebody walks in, because it's presence and essence that determines respect. So all we talking about, the power of respect is never to disrespect. That's why I was the first one sitting down in the meeting. Oh, I ain't got nothing to say. Y'all do y'all good. I got to listen to something out there I need to grab from it. Sitting on the same football field like you, 1993. And I made a quote. Some people call it controversy, I call it confidence. I said that I might be the greatest player to ever walk up out of the university. Now. I did not say that because I thought I was better than everybody else. I said that simply because I was willing to put in the work to now be back here 18 years later and tell you the only brotherhood I still have it sits on my chest in a shirt form but I have that rear